What's up guys, it's your boy Josh here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Crystal Static Lock. How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another episode. I know that's just kind of like a second introduction there, but you know, I'm not really worried about it. I'm gonna keep going. Um, how far? I feel like I'm going the wrong way here. Definitely going the wrong... Don't tell me it's gonna crash again. Yeah, if you guys watched the last episode, you know my game like semi crash but you know we're uh we, we back at it we uh the problem kind of fixed by itself so we're here we are possibly going the wrong way hopefully not um we're going back to um olivine city to give the infrost the medicine and then i think we can take on both gyms in this episode uh so that's what we're going to be doing um so i did train up the the static shucky that we got which if you guys don't remember or if you didn't see the last episode it actually actually i'll show you guys um can i yeah i can do stats it was actually a koalava uh which i trained up in between episodes it really only took me like five minutes um because i gave him the lucky egg now he's up to level 30 from level 15 and he learned quick attack and that's pretty much it and i think he is going to evolve in a few episodes, not a few episodes, in a few levels here. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I'm ready for him to evolve. Now I have uh, like a core trio that I can use here. So that's what, really what I'm excited for. Um, this core trio that we can use. Um, I'm going to actually put Chucky in the front just in case um, I run into anything. Oh man. Um, yeah, just in case I run into any trainers. It's level 30, so why not give him, uh, just a little bit of experience here. So, we're actually getting through this game fairly fast. Um, because this would be the 5th and 6th gym leaders. And this is, what, episode 7, maybe? I mean, I'm trying to keep track. It might be 7, might be 8. Um, yeah, we're actually going through this game a lot faster than any other uh any other playthrough that we've done on the channel so um maybe we go through kanto in this game um i guess it really does kind of depend on how far i go and how far i want to go um i actually have no idea how many static mods there will be in kanto not that it really matters at that point just because we already would have beaten crystal and i at that point i would already have a, a core trio um, knocking on wood that no one dies. Um, oh yeah, we have a good team with us right now. We, I really just need a good grass type or a good electric type. That's really what I need, because we are severely weak to water. Um, like the best chance that we have against water right now is, is, uh, is Kenya, is a T-Tar. Um, and even, even he is weak to water. Um, I feel like I'm about to die right so I'm gonna switch out actually. Um, yeah, just normal blade. I was actually kind of scared for that one, but I did not want to lose uh, the Quilava as we literally just got him. Kabuto, like I said, water, 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 water. Yeah. I actually started watching a new show. This is a really bad just segue. I'm just gonna get right into it. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna get right into the topic here. Um, I actually started watching um, the show. I kind of talked about it in the Soul Link finale, uh, but we didn't really go too far into it. Um, I'm actually going to switch here, go back to Shucky, I'll heal him up. Um, but I started watching Community, um, which if you guys haven't seen it, uh, make sure you go watch it. It is actually a really funny show. Um, it, it's probably going up the list pretty fast of favorite TV shows. Um, I don't think it's going to pass The Office, but... Um, it is actually getting pretty far up there uh, with favorite TV shows. Um, and the cast is... Um, I really like the, the characters in the cast. Because, um, you know, you got Helen from Jake and Josh. You got Childish Gambino himself. You got uh, Clark W. from National Lampoons. Um, I mean, the cast... Like, a lot of the cast is really funny. And yeah, Ken Jong on there. Um... And then you have some a lot of funny cameos and um, a lot of like the gifts that like I use 
I, I guess I didn't know what show they were from, but like I use them a lot. And now I'm watching the show and understanding where these gifts are coming from. It's like, okay, that makes that makes sense. Not that it was really hard to get context of a lot of these gifts, but still, now that at least I know how I'm using them. Um, but I do recommend go watching that show. I started watching it probably a week ago, probably less than a week ago, and I'm already close to mid season three. Yeah, mid season three, which I guess is normal for a lot of people that just binge TV shows. But yeah, mid season three. That's where I'm at right now. Um, and I really do enjoy it. I don't know who I would say my favorite character is. Um, I, I really, I don't even know who, I don't even know if I can say who my favorite character is. I mean, not that it, I like, I can't say it, but I mean, I, I truly just don't know who my favorite character is. Um, are you gonna take me down? Am I done here now? Um, she going to the gym? Can you just take me, where are you going? Where, where, where did she go? Is there like a hidden spot that I need to go? Is that it? I just had that big of a fall all the way down to the first floor? Oh no, nope. Too far. Let me go here. Alright, so let's take on Jasmine. And then... Uh, we already have enough healing items, I'm pretty sure. Let's take on Jasmine and then we can go take on Chuck and the other guys. Um, is it just her? Are there no trainers in here? I'm actually a little bit scared there's no trainers in here. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. Why don't you just take me to the gym? Or at least take me outside of the lighthouse. Because this could have been a, a little bit faster, you know? You, you could have just taken me, like, right here. But let's take on my girl Jasmine here. I always kind of liked her, Jasmine. She seemed pretty cool. She, 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 she seemed chill. Jasmine was always pretty cool. Um, Haunter. Okay, I see you. Level 30, okay. I see how this is. Come on, Kenya! <laughs> oh, that ain't not gonna work with using embers. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this curse here. I'm gonna use Blight to knock him out. Does the curse stay with me here? I hope it doesn't stay with me. Whatever happened to being like 20 levels above and just super over level. Now I'm only six. Now I'm only six. Primate. I'm definitely switching out. Um, I have to go to Rocky here. Yeah, Bruce probably isn't going to be doing anything on the team anymore. Bruce is kind of worthless for me right now. I mean, yeah, he could help with like the water type weakness, I guess, in some way, just because he's not super effective. Or he's not weak against water, but... Still, it would be something to kind of get my core three out of there since they're all weak to water. You know, it's just, it's just there, it's a thought. Oh boy, that was the ace, I think. That was level 35. Huh, okay. Weezing, wheezing, wheezing. Oh, I'm super effective on it. And just use magnitude. I. Wow, that was a two 30s and a 35. Wow, okay. Well, at least we know who her favorite was. It was that primate there. Um, luckily, Weezing doesn't have Levitate in this game. Because there's no abilities, but... Luckily, I can still hit him with this magnitude. Wow! I was almost leveled up there. You're better than me, both in skill and kindness. In accordance with the League rules, I give you this badge. Put the badge on the layout! Try and have it in the morning! That was from the community. community. Mineral badge. Um, raises defensive. Play take this too. 23. It should be Iron Tail. It's Guillotine. Ooh! Hoo -hoo. Oh, that's gonna do some damage there. I'm trying to think about who can learn Iron Tail. In. I guess Kenya can learn it. Um, Shucky can probably learn it. Um, I think she gave me strength. And then Fly is the next gen. So let's teach strength now, just in case. Use. 
I guess it wouldn't be bad if we give strength to Rocky, maybe. I don't know. Oh, well, okay. Well, then here you learn strength then. Crabby. No. Nope. We're getting out of here. Nope. Get out of here. Okay, we're in a battle now. In a battle. In a battle, folks. We're in a battle. Folks. 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 Merry Christmas. Do you, do you guys want to know what I want to know? There are so many gums that they just lose flavor so fast. They really do. Like, if anyone that has, like, recommends a gum, if anyone can recommend a gum that doesn't lose its flavor in, like, 30 seconds, please let me know. I want one, give me, let's see, give me one that's actual bubblegum flavored, give me one that's mint flavored, and give me one that's, like, another just, like, random fruit flavor. Give me, give me some gums that just, uh, that just kind of lasts. I feel like juicy fruit lasts a while. Fruit Stripe does not last at all. Um, what other ones are there? Uh, five Gum. That's the, that's, I would just, I will take that with the mint. Um, I feel like that one lasts a while. Winter Fresh lasts a while. Double Mint probably lasts a while. I feel like it's the mint gums that last longer than like bubble gum flavored gums. Is it just me? I know it was kind of a weird topic, but I was just kind of looking at, um, I got like Mentos gum or something like that, and it kind of loses its flavor after a minute or two. So I just wanted to kind of bring it up, just so. Ooh, flame wheel. Just in case anyone else kind of like the same theory as me, you know. Um, should I get rid of Ember or Smoke Screen? I'm gonna get rid of Tackle. We don't really need Tackle. I'd rather use Quick Attack because I think it's the same power. Polytoad. <laughs> Um, again, I have nothing for this man. Hopefully he doesn't use, like, ultimate serve hurricane on me. Um, but I think we knocked him out because he just got flinched. Which I really do love that on Bite when I get to use that on someone else and not when they use it against me. Just saying. Neo Queen. Um, yeah, let's go back into Rocky. He can just use Magnitude. Oh, this Nido Queen is ready to attack. She got her hand up. She's like, uh-uh, ain't no one touching my children. Ain't no, I'm the queen of this Jodo region right here. And she's gonna smack y'all down. I really do love so many of these sprites. Cause they just show like, they're all ready to like attack you and just do something to you. That's really what it is. And this guy, huh. I know he's, he's got goggles on. But like right under, there's like two pixels under his eye, each eye, or each eyes, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what that is. Is that just trying to show like a nose and just like actual just light on him? Because that would be really weird if those were his eyes. Pidgeot looks so majestic in this game with its hair all the way up. Or I guess like, not like good majestic. Because they could really fix its hair. Ooh, we'll go on. I'm actually gonna run away from you. So I can hit to the gym. You know that's how I just be. You know, always always hitting the gym. Because you know I'm like 145 pounds and noodle arms and you know I hit the gym all the time. Uh, is that Chuck's wife there? Because doesn't she give me fly or something like that? I don't know. I, I'm trying to think about how this works. Is it just the middle one that goes all the way up? Hold on, I'm gonna do... I feel like that one goes up. That one goes there. Aha! Why does Chuck have one right next to him? Like, that one doesn't go anywhere, I don't think. Let's see, we got a Psyduck, another water type. Which, you know, I hate at this point. Um, what does it affect? Oh, if I use confusion or something. Thank God, it's like it cannot affect dark types. Which is something I really didn't know until later gens. I didn't know that psychic actually couldn't touch a dark type. Um, I thought it was just like not very effective. Um, but I didn't know it actually just like couldn't hit it. I always thought when I figured out that psychic couldn't hit it, I think. I may have realized that like Gen 
5, maybe, and I thought it was just, like, something new for Gen 5. Oh, you gotta be kidding me with this one. That's a powerful looking Gyarados. And we will be getting Gyarados in the next episode, two episodes from now, when we get it shiny. Which is, I mean, like, super dope. Again, I hope I get Charizard or Umbreon. I would love to get one of those, too. Um, but if we get a Scizor, too, I'll just take it because it's a Scizor. Um, shiny or not, we'll take it that reason. But... Drowsy. Oh, yeah, you can't affect me. Can't affect me, Drowsy. If Noah was here, he'd have a joke for this, which he thinks is just really funny for some reason. Um, don't really know why he thinks it's super funny. He probably thinks it's funny just because it gets on my nerves whenever he tries to make a joke of it. Uh, because I know it's not funny at all. Um, but it's time to take on Chuck here, who looks like he's got a, he's rocking a really good mustache or goatee right here. I mean, you can look at it. I mean, he, I, mean I guess he kind of has a, a unibrow and a receding hairline. But you can tell he's got a powerful looking mustache here. I mean, let's look at it. Wait. Did he just throw that uh, that 2,000 pound stone right there? And he threw it on top of the of the bust on the on the on the thing, the marble or whatever that statue is. He just threw it on top of it and it bounced like a basketball. Are you kidding me, Chuck? I mean this guy has literally never left the gym. Not the Pokemon gym, the other kind of gym. Oh yeah, that's a nice looking mustache right there. That's a powerful looking... Ho oh, right there. Eee hoo Hmm. Yeah, we're going into Rocky here. Da da da! Da da! Did it just use Sacred Fire on me? And it just not do anything? I really actually need to go eat some breakfast, because it is like 11 in the morning. Um, I watched TV this morning, and I also haven't eaten breakfast. Or really, I've not gotten ready in any sort of fashion because I'm still in my pajamas still. But besides that, um, yeah, I actually really need to get, get ready just for like kind of the day. You know, you just gotta get ready for your day. Um, I'm actually gonna put Shucky back in. Well, the Lickitung is just a Lickitung. I can take on a Lickitung, right? Does that have rollout? I hope it doesn't have rollout. Ooh, ooh, that was a crit too. Oh shoot, it's got rap. I don't think rap is as broken in this game as it is in Gen 1. Um, I still think I got this battle though. Hopefully I don't lose Shucky here. Uh, ah. What didn't affect Shucky though? You know, so many times I keep seeing these things, it's like, oh, it doesn't affect this mod. Does it not affect it? Not affect it? Or does, did it just miss? Because I feel like anything can hit a fire type. And that is battle number two for the day. Um, later Chuck was defeated. Put. Huh? I lost? What is this about? And put the badge on the layout. $3,000. Do I have an amulet coin in this game? Or am I thinking of something else? Ooh, mine's up to level 70 can obey you. You love to see it. TM01 is... I mean, I guess I don't mind headbutt. This is Chuck's wife, right? There we go. Did she just say her husband is getting chubby? I hope she didn't just say that. Let's see, let's fly. Fly me to the moon. Let me teach this to Bruce Wayne. You guys know I already can't sing, but I do it anyway. Um, let me try supersonic. I'm gonna get rid of supersonic. Okay, and let's fly back to Ecrotique. Oh, yeah, we can do it this way. Nope, nope. There we go. That's such a weird animation. I mean, I, really, I literally just flew in on a bat. And no one is suspecting anything. 
Okay, let us go a little bit right, and maybe we can finish it off when we get to Mahogany Town. Um, actually, if I go into Mount Mortar, then we do technically get another static. But well, let's get this item right here. Ultra Ball, okay. Okay, I see you. I'll take an Ultra Ball. Alright, where, oh where, is this guy at? I hope I have an escape rope or something. PP up, okay. I'm glad that Dunspar is- I don't have like actual encounters in this game. That Dunspar would not have done it for me. Is this the guy? I think this should be the guy. Oh, nope. That is not the guy. Definitely not the guy. Where's the guy? I should have looked this up, but I also didn't think about this guy until now. I see it. Okay. Right. I guess that really doesn't do anything. Oh. That could boot up.
thinking of where this guy could be. I think this is where I started. Alright, I'm gonna look this guy up in the episode. But truthfully, I have no idea where he is. Peace.